Let's see one practical question on block of assets. Following assets are owned by Growth Company Limited. Okay, so there's a company called Growth Company Limited, which owns the following asset as on 1-4-2012. You are required to classify these assets into different block of assets. If you see the assets are what? There are buildings, various categories. Okay, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, 1, 2. These might be just different blocks. Then you have plant and machinery and furniture and fixture. The written down value is given. The rates of depreciation are given. Before I club this, let me ask you one thing. What is a block of asset? If you go back to your notes, if you go back to the previous videos that you have seen, a block of asset is an asset. It's a, actually a class of asset which falls within a group of assets in respect of which same percentage of depreciation is prescribed right so if you see what are the assets assets are building plant and machinery furniture and fixture right so if you see class wise there are three classes here one is building one is plant and machinery one is furniture and fixture right so can i say that there are block of building right there's a block of plant and machinery there's a block of furniture and fixture right so these are the three basically class of asset or a group of assets which you may call but within these group of assets you need to sub classify those buildings which have same percentage of depreciation prescribed but within this block you need to kind of just put in together a sub block wherein same percentage of depreciation is prescribed now if you look here within building we see that some building have depreciation of 5% some have 10% and some have 100% right so building by itself is not one single block there are three separate groups within the building why there's a group which is entitled to 100% depreciation there's a group which is entitled to 5% depreciation there's a group which is entitled to 10% depreciation right so within building we say block okay let me use a different color maybe block 10% depreciation so it is building a1 this has 10% depreciation what is the value 340000 then building d1 building d1 again it has 10% depreciation so 250000 and uh, then building a2 b2 they also have 10% a2 b2 what's the value 90000 105000 right and there is a building d2 also which has 10% d2 10% 40,000 let me just rub this block from so if I do the total of this I get 340 plus 250 is 590 plus 90 680 720 825 right the second block that I get here is building with 100% depreciation. So block 100% depreciation. This is 3,60,000 and this is in respect of B1. Uh, there's no other building which is entitled to this depreciation rate so 3,60,000 is the total. Then we have block of building with 5% depreciation. I will also just remove this because first let's complete the building piece. 
So 5% is C1, 3,40,000. Then C2, 60,000. Now what have I done here? I have done nothing. I have just found out how many buildings are there. And within buildings, I found out which are the ones which have same rate of depreciation prescribed. I have just clubbed them together. Right? So this was 10%, this was 100%, this was 5%. So we get how much? 4 lakh over here. Right? Now within the second block, which is, now we are done with all the buildings. Right? Within the second one, if I may just kind of remove this to create some additional space. Now within the second one, which is block, plant and machinery, I have just one plant and machinery which is entitled to 20% depreciation. So I will write block 20%. Okay, I write P and M 280,000. That's the value which is there. If I would have had some other plant and machinery with a different rate, let's say there was something with 100%, then I would have written block 100%, whatever was the value that would have come in here. Furniture and fixture block 10%. F and F, 4 lakh is the value and that's the way it will come. Now what is the significance of this? The significance of this is as I have calculated this value, now I will apply 20% depreciation on this value. I will apply 10% depreciation on this value. Both these are same so there is no big deal in this but if you look at it from a building perspective, what I have done is now I know that I need to apply 10% rate to 8,25,000. If I would have just sum totaled all this and applied any, any of these percentages, the results would have been different. Now what I do is I apply 10% to this, I apply 100% to this and I apply 5% to this. So that helps me in calculating the depreciation precisely. Right? With that we come to an end of this question.